Uh, seeing women as sexual objects. is a topic that I want to say a few words about. Look at this situation like this. Um, there are these videos where, uh, well, uh, birth vlogs. Here we go, newborn. As soon as newborn is here, some of the people cover the genitalia area with radish radish or how it's well with something like they cover it so it wouldn't be there uh so let's look at it so what they basically do is that this newborn appeared to this world out of vagina from the womb from uh intimate uh, organs of a woman uh, and it was there in the womb because of intimate organs of a man <laughs> because of his penis and ball and all that is covered in inside in the man's body so a uh, new body of a human is created with genitalia and once newborn is born, his genitalia is covered as if it's something out of question. But uh, without genitalia, uh, this newborn wouldn't be here. So where is the logic here? So we are what? We're ashamed of naturality here? <laughs> And it happens because on a collective level, a lot of people started to believe in bullshit of so-called sin, of so-called dirt. Well, honey, your body consists not only of butterflies and rainbows, but also of mucus and uh, there are feces in your colon, so you, as far as you're not poop with uh, butterflies or rainbows, you, you still have some dirt. But without that that dirt, you would be exploded. <laughs> or you should just, you know, be birtharian just right now and stop eating. And even those people who stopped eating, they still have to clean up the colon because feces can be, you know, glued to the walls of a colon without water without anything else and just be there as dirt so when you're born is born they're covered in mucus because it's very protective mucus is very protective for this uh for the skin for the gentle skin of a newborn now i'm i'm having mucus just right here so you know no one is freaking uh, stature, no one is freaking doll, no one is freaking uh, sinner because it's just total, totally freaky idea. <clears throat> so, also this nipple thing, like uh, women are not allowed to show their nipples or to show their breasts. Well, without their breasts and those nipples, some pricks wouldn't appear to this world. Yeah, those pricks that now are trying to say that women cannot do this. If they didn't suck those nipples very hard, they wouldn't be here. Let's be honest. Without those breasts that provided them with milk, they wouldn't be here. So, uh, they literally fight uh, towards their own existence, basically. By trying to put women down like this. Um... Well, I saw a man in a really, like, uh, windy pants, <laughs> windy pants, where a wind was blowing right there, <laughs> and their penises were seen, they were, you know, they were just there, and you can see them. I saw men peeing just e everywhere, they didn't care if I was walking there or anyone was walking there. I saw these jokers when I was a kid, 
jerkers, jerks. <laughs> I was like nine, they were jerking off somewhere just in front of me because they got excited when I was watching them. Not only me, just other people too. So, and they all were men. I never saw a woman do the exact same thing, jerking off in public or a woman just peeing in front of everybody or uh, a woman just walking naked. So, seeing a woman, seeing naked woman's body as a sexual object is totally wild. So, if a man gets excited just while watching the naked body and wants to fuck this body instantly, just it's totally neurotic reaction. Totally neurotic reaction. <laughs> this man, just as many others, has been programmed to see women like this. And uh, also, woman is not an uh, it's not a provider for new babies. Uh, and both both uh, ideas that she is a provider of new babies, but at the same time she is sexual object, at the same time her nipples and breasts and genitalia are some sort of awe. Um, these come from the same source, which is not the smartest, wisest, intelligent source. That's the source of some heads, some heads of some people who uh, really see possible income because of that. So, you know, and um, it's always a personal choice uh, to start to see things more openly. And as far as one person changes, everything changes as well, because we all are just one. Literally. We all are energy and information. And... Though, like, physically we are separated uh, through these bodies. But we are not separated. As if we are separated. Like this. And uh, so targeting a naked woman's body as a sexual object is totally mm. well. I don't want to allow words like crime or what uh, because crime means that someone needs punishment. Punishment is never. Uh, a way out of a situation, so let's say it's just a total uh, distortion of seeing things. Uh, I would say that uh, targeted naked man's body is the exact same thing, but I didn't see that much of men's bodies out there. Mm course they are also there but not in that amount that women's bodies and I personally I am out of gender so I do not uh, identify as a woman I am in a woman's body I'm okay with that but consciousness wise I'm just I have both energies men's and women's just spectrum of energy I have both just as anybody else those people who have like um, more active energies of uh, one side of the spectrum uh, that's how they identify so if that's a person who was born in male body but those energies of a so-called woman side of the spectrum is act are active there this person identifies as woman and that's really correct at, this, at that point because we always identify by inner sensation and not by outer appearance and you know it's getting too tight here it's getting too tight uh, and expansion inner expansion is the only way 
to see the bigger picture and stop bullshitting yourself by believing other bullshitters. <laughs> And everything is very simple, like solutions to all this. You know, it's, it's interesting to create a disease. Uh, it all needs more of energy and effort than to actually stop creating this and allowing health to thrive. The same as creating bullshit in the world takes a lot more energy and effort rather than surrender to the natural peace state which always lies in consciousness.